Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about direct variation. And we're going to write an equation where y varies directly as x. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So to write an equation class, very easy class. Just get the value of k, and once you get the value of k, simply substitute k from the given direct variation equation. So the equation class, it says y varies directly as x. So you can write this one as y equals kx. So y varies directly as x. You can write that one as y equals kx. So to write the equation class, simply substitute the value of y and x from this equation to get the value of k. And once you get k, substitute k from the equation and that's the answer class. So let me explain this one with this given examples. We have seven examples class for you to really understand how to find the equation. So our y is 28 for number 1. So y is equals to 28. So simply substitute 28 from this y. So 28, instead of y, you change that to 28. Equals, so copy k. Once again class, if you have variables close to each other, it means multiplication. kx, it means k times x. And our x is 7. So k times 7. And to get the value of k, okay, for you to get the value of k, simply divide the equations by 7. Once again, divide this one by 7 so that the remaining equation on the right, on this equal sign, of this equal sign, is just k. So divide by 7 so that you can cancel this out and the remaining will be k. So question class, can we divide 28 by 7? Yep, we can divide 28 by 7. 28 divided by 7, that is 4. So 4 is equals to k. And once you get k, simply substitute k from this equation. So our answer class will be y equals, our k is 4. Once again, 4 equals k. You can write that one as k equals 4. This is just the same class. 4 equals k is just the same with k equals 4. And our k is 4. So instead of k, you change that to 4. And then copy x. That's it class. That's the answer for number 1. Easy, right? For number one, so once again, for you to write the equation, just get the value of k. And once you get the value of k, simply substitute k from this equation. So that's, that would be your answer class for number one. So the answer for number one, that is y equals 4x. Easy, right? For number one. So let's try number two. So let me erase this one. That's how you find the equation class. Find k, and once you get k, simply substitute k from this given equation, y varies directly as x. So let's try number 2, our y is 30, so this will be 30 equals our k, so we need to find k, copy k, then our x is 8 times 8, so to get the value of k, divide both sides by 8, so that the remaining equation on the right will be k, so divide by 8, alright, so you can cancel this out. And the remaining will be k. Now check class. Can we divide 30 by 8? Can we divide 30 by 8? Nope. We cannot divide, right? And it's very complicated class if you're dealing with decimals. So can we divide 30 by 8? Nope. We cannot divide. Next question class. Can we reduce 30 and 8? Yep. We can reduce. We can reduce this one by 2, right? So 30 over 8. We can reduce this one by 2. By 4, 8, we can reduce it by 4, but 30, we cannot reduce it by 4. So therefore, we can just simply reduce it by 2. So 30 divided by 2, that is 15. 8 divided by 2, that is 4. So our answer class is 15 over 4 for k. So once again, class, always reduce the fraction to its lowest term. So is it mandatory to reduce the fraction to its lowest term? Yep, that's actually mandatory class. It's mandatory class for fraction that you always reduce your fraction to its lowest term. So therefore, our k is 15 over 4. So no need to make this one class into decimal because it will be really complicated if you're dealing with decimals. So this will be our answer. k is equals to 15 over 4. Now once you get k, simply substitute k from this equation. So copy y. y equals your k is 15 over 4. 
15 over 4, then copy x. That's it, class. That's your equation. So that's how you write the equation, class. Find k, and once you get k, simply substitute k from this equation. y varies directly as x. Alright, so that's the answer for number 2. Easy, right? y equals 15 over 4x. Let's try number 3. So I hope you're still with me. Easy, right? In writing the equation. So for number 3, so we have 0 0.7 equals, so our k, right k, we need, to, we need to find k. Then our x is 0 0.4. Alright, so to get the value of k, you divide both sides by 0 0.4, then 0 0.4. So cancel this out. Alright, so 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.4. So let's divide. So 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.4. So since our divisor is a decimal, the thing that we will do is we need to adjust. You move one point from left to right to make this divisor a whole number because it will be complicated class if your divisor is the, is a decimal. So the thing that we will do, we need to move one point or one place from left to right to make this 0.4 a whole number, to make this 0.4 a whole number. So you move one here. Now once you, mo you move one unit on the divisor, you also move one unit on the dividend. You also move one unit here. To make the equation balance, so you move one unit here from the divisor, you also move one unit on the dividend. Instead of 4.4, it will be a, a whole number 4 divided by, so instead of 0 0.7, since you move one unit here, it will be positive 7. So this will be 4 and this will be 7. So our dividend becomes a whole number. And our divisor becomes a whole number. So you move one unit here. You also move one unit on the dividend. So this will be 7 divided by 4. So 7 divided by 4, that is 1. 1 times 4, that is 4. Subtract. 7 minus 4, that is 3. Copy this whole number, 1, 1. Then this 3 here, the remainder, it will be the numerator, 3. Then this 4 here, our divisor, it will be the denominator. 1 and 3, 4. You still remember this one, class? Okay, dividing a whole number if there's a remainder. So you can write this one as a whole number. This answer here, 1 will be a whole number. The quotient 1 will be a whole number. Then 3 here, the remainder will be the numerator. And your divisor, 4, will be the denominator. So 1 and 3, 4. So we change this one into improper fraction. You still remember, class, how to change this one into improper fraction? 1 and 3 fourth, you can write this one as, okay, 1 and 3 fourth, very easy class, changing mixed number into improper fraction. Or you can write this one as multiply the denominator by the whole number, 4 times 1 is 4, then add it by 3, plus 3, that is 7, then copy the denominator, 7 over 4. So once again, changing mixed number into improper fraction, very easy, just multiply the denominator by the whole number 4 times 1 is 4 added by 3 plus 3 that is 7 then copy the denominator 7 over 4 all right so our k is 7 over 4 so we cannot divide 7 by 4 we get a decimal answer and it will be complicated if we're, if we're dealing with decimals so our k is 7 over 4 so once you get k simply substitute k from this equation so this will be y equals, our k is 7 over 4, then copy x. That's the answer class for number 3. Easy, right? For number 3. So y equals 7 over 4x. That's it class for number 3. Alright, so let's try number 4. So once again, for number 4, it's still a decimal. So... This will be, so y is 0 0.8, so this will be 0 0.8 equals k, then times by x is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Alright, then you divide it by 0 0.5, so that the remaining equation will be k, so divide by 0 0.5, divide by 0 0.5, then you can cancel this out. 
Alright, so 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.5. So this will be 0 0.5 divide, uh, no, 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.5. So once again, make your divisor a whole number. You move one unit here. Now once you move one unit on your divisor, you also do that on the dividend. So you move one unit. You move your point from left to right, and this point 0.5 will become a whole number 5, and this point 0.8 will become a whole number 8. Alright, so once again, let's always remember this one. Once you move one unit on your divisor, you also do that on the dividend class to make the equation balance. Alright, so this will be 5, a whole number 5, and a whole number 8. So divide 8 divided by 5, that is 1. 1 times 5, that is 5. Subtract 8 minus 5, that is 3. So once again, this is your answer. The remainder is 3. So you will write this one as in mixed number, as a mixed number. So this will be 1, a whole number 1, 1, then 3 will be a numerator, 3, then 5 will be a denominator, 1 and 3 fifth. So 1 and 3 fifth. So 1 will be a whole number, 3 will be the numerator, and 5 will be the denominator. 1 and 3 fifth. Now you can write this one or make this mixed number into improper fraction. Very easy. Multiply the denominator by the numerator. 5 times 1, that is 5, plus 3, that is 8. Once again, class, 1 times 5, then plus 3. So that's how you make mixed number into improper fraction. So 5 times 1, that is 5, plus 3, that is 8. Then copy the denominator, 8 over 5. So therefore, our k is 8 over 5. So k is equals to 8 over 5 is equals to k. Can we divide 8 by 5? Nope, we get a decimal answer and it's very complicated if you're dealing with decimal. So next, can we reduce? Nope, we cannot reduce 8 and 5. So that would be our final answer class. So y, so just simply copy y equals our k is 8 over 5. Then copy x. That's our answer class. y equals 8 over 5x. Alright, so next, number 5. So let's answer number 5 class and number 6 and then you try number 7 class. Let me check if you really understand our topic class. So let's answer number 5. So y is 400. So 400. Okay, write it in black. So this will be 400 equals k then our x is 25 so to get the value of k divide by 25 divide by 25 cancel this out so 400 divide by 25 so this will be 1 then 1 times 25 so 40 divided by 25 that is 1 1 times 25 that is 25 subtract 40 minus 25 that is 15 right so let me check that one so bring the okay, borrow 1, this will be 3, then this will be 10, 10 minus 5 is 5, 3 minus 2 is 1, 15, then bring down 0, 150 divided by 25, I think that is 6, right? 25 times 6, 6 times 5 is 30, 0 carry 3, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3, that's 15, so 6, 150 divided by 25, that is 6. 6 times 5 is 150. Subtract, this is 0. So 16. 400 divided by 25, that is 16. So this will be 16 is equals k. And once you get k, simply substitute k from this equation. So our answer will be y equals k is 16, 16x. Y equals 16x. Easy, right? For number 5. So let's try number 6, then you try number 7 plus. So number 6, y is 63 equals k, then x is 81. So to get the value of k, so divide the equation by 81. Once again, plus divide the equation by 81, not 63 plus. It should be 81 so that the remaining equation on the right will be only k. So divide by 81, cancel this out. So this will be 63 over 81 equals k. Can we divide 63 by 81? Nope. We cannot divide plus. We get a decimal answer. And once again, it's very complicated if you're dealing with decimal. So next question, can we reduce 
63 and 81, yep, we can reduce it by 9, right? 63 and 81, we can reduce it by 9, right? 63 divided by 9, that is 7. Then 81 divided by 9, that is 9. So 7 over 9. So this will be 7 over 9 equals k. And once you get k, simply substitute k from this equation. So y equals k is 7 over 9. Then copy x. That's our answer case for number 6. y equals 7 over 9, then x. Easy, right? That's it, class. All set. Writing an equation y verse directly as x. So you try to answer number 7, class, and you put your answer in the comment section down below. You try this one. Let me check, class, class if you really understand our topic. So if you understand our topic, you write your answer, class. On the comment section down below. Once again, this is Teacher MJ, and I hope you learned something new today, class. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends, class, and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye bye.